Alright, welcome to my video on my Sanctuary build. Um, this is my third video. Uh, sanctuary is not a place that I often spend a whole lot of time building. Um, I have been working on my settlements and on my supply lines, as you can tell. But Sanctuary, uh, with the new DLC, got a lot more space. So I decided I was going to attempt to do a little bit more work on my Sanctuary. Uh, love the new DLC, love the letters, love the neon, um, a lot of stuff is better. Um, I've seen a lot of excellent builds on YouTube uh, that have walls completely around the settlement. I do not do that. I am a big fan of just basically uh, putting gaps in your walls and then making sure that the gaps have plenty of turrets uh, in order to welcome your enemies, the enemy AI. So usually like right here, here's a planned gap in the wall and if you look I have quite a few turrets just waiting. Uh, usually if it's raiders or super mutants they end up in a big pile right about here. Um, I basically set up gaps where they normally spawn, at least from my experience, uh, and then basically welcome them with turrets. So I used to have a whole bunch of generators over here for that contraption you make for getting into the Institute. Uh, since that blew up, I moved the generators around, so I have a lot of older generators. Uh, here's my fountain. I decided to decorate it with some power armor because why not? A little caravan station here. Um, I did not use the Soul Survivor's house. I actually covered it up with my market. And my market is filled with Emporium level uh, vendors, if you see, and then it is staffed with some of the people that you find out in the world, including the Vault Rep, Vault Rep, Doc Anderson, and uh, well, we don't want to be too much of a spoiler there, but that is also a character that you run into in the world, and she has a French accent. Alright, so here is my crafting area, and right next to my dormitory and my garage. And this was the main reason why I wanted to make this video, is because uh, I finally got all the magazines, so I thought I would share that. Here is my complete collection of magazines, minus one, because one of the magazines was in the Institute, and the Institute is no more. There's my bobblehead collection, and here are models that I found in the world. I actually had more of them. I think I accidentally um, put them in other settlements, possibly. <laughs> uh, anyway, PS4 Trophies, if you're looking for guides to find bobbleheads and magazines, PS4 Trophies has a YouTube channel that is excellent for finding uh, all of the things you're looking for. All right, so... I'm going to move over to the dorm area now. I'm a big fan of putting two beds, then a space, then two beds, then a space. Um, it just seems to treat the space nicer than you can put like a little nightstand in between. Um, not like that. So that's what I do. I don't know if it makes more space, but it definitely looks a little neater. Uh, here's my robot crafting workstation, and here's the former location of Mama Murphy. I used to have Mama Murphy just out in this box next to dog meat, uh, but then thanks to the story, uh, Mama Murphy, I don't want to ruin it for you, but here's where Mama Murphy now lives, all cleaned up and sober. I uh, just, uh, I felt out of guilt, I felt like I needed to make Mama Murphy uh, a nice home. Okay. Here is my no, pub. It is formerly called Margarita Vile. Uh, it's kind of an island style pub with lots of deck area, with ceiling fans. Um, but now it is Poppy's place. And I decided if you're going to have a recovering addict or alcoholic, why not make him a bartender? Because that's always a good so idea. So there's Poppy's Only place. It's got a few levels. Um... Here's my Brahmin area. I lost a few in the crossfire when the settlement was attacked a while ago, so now I only have one Brahmin. Little pro tip, Ten Pines Bluff, that valley in front of it, 
uh, there is a woman there once you clear out her area that will sell you Brahmin. Um, some defenses, again, there's a gap in the fence deliberately. I did not wall the whole thing in. And then I just put a lot of turrets to welcome any sort of enemy AI. All right, make my way around here before we go to the last place. And you'll notice that I was attempting to get benevolent leader with this settlement. Uh, that did not work out, but I did put a lot of statues. Um, I am pledging allegiance to no one, <laughs> apparently, according to all the banners that I'm hanging there, but whatever. And here is the last part of my settlement, which I think is the best part of the settlement. And that is the garage. Uh, I stole this idea from somebody. This is not an original idea. Somebody had a garage on YouTube that was awesome. And I said, I want to make a big garage for my power armor. So here is my garage for my power armor. There are 28 sets of armor in here. I have other armor throughout the world uh, in the other settlements, but this is my largest collection. Uh, I thought. Yeah, might as well just make it a little homey. I use the uh, crafting station to unload my stuff when I come back from exploring. I usually don't explore in the power armor as a general rule, but if it looks like I'm going to go to like the glowing sea or something, I will take power armor there and uh, just go kill things. Uh, well, there you go. Set up. Kind of nice and homey. And if you look on the walls, I love the DLC. They added a lot of new animal heads that you can put up on the wall. Here's my X-01 armor. I have a few complete sets of that. I have all the paint jobs available now. Another complete set and a third complete set. And then a uh, little Brotherhood of Steel action. My Vim power armor. Uh, I think, yes, Adam Katz, Brotherhood of Steel. Lots of stuff on the wall. Uh, but I am a collector in video games, so this definitely scratches that itch for me. There you go. Well, there is my sanctuary settlement so far, and I say so far because I am convinced that I will never be done with the settlement until I stop playing this game. The settlement feature of this is very addictive for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please uh, like it if you liked it. Thanks. Thanks.